Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to get sharp photo. And uh, the first thing I can say is you must have good light. So in the morning and in the evening I think that is the best light. Then you get uh, good colors in the picture and you get a very good contrast. If you compare with a photo you have taken daytime, it's flat and uh, there's no contrast in it and I really don't like it. So try to shoot in the right uh, environment with the right light so then you get sharp photos. You uh, must also think of the ISO. Don't shoot at too high ISO. Always try to get down so much with the ISO as you can. And uh, I will come to that later how I do. Because if, if, it's, if you compare one photo with high ISO and the same photo with lower ISO, you can see different in the contrast and in the, in the light and also sharpness. So low ISO, try always to get as low ISO as possible. But the shutter speed, if you get too low on the shutter speed, the, the picture will be, or the photo will be uh, not so sharp. And I say it's better to come home with a sharp photo, high ISO, than an unsharp photo and low ISO. So, that is depending on, on you and experience. Uh, so the lack of, of um, shutter speed is uh, a very problem. Uh, another thing you have to consider is if you have a long lens and you have a, a long distance to the motive then there's a shimmer in the air, so you get then you you don't get the, the sharp photo as you want. So therefore, the morning and the evening are the best. The aperture of the of the lens, uh, I always shoot with full open, but uh, the most lenses will be sharpest if you step up one or two steps. That you can. Uh, read about the, uh, on the internet also. So my settings for the camera with flying birds is when I'm in a blind I always use tripod and uh, I have manual mode because then I, I have auto ISO also. Then I only have to change the speed. So if the if you have a bird, for example, sitting still, I just drag to left and I get lower shutter speed and, and then I get lower ISO. So, and then I shoot. If the bird flies away, I immediately can drag the, the wheel to the right and it goes up to 1000 or 1600 or something like that. And the photo will be sharp. 
and the auto acer will fix everything if it flies into a darker area the acer goes up and if it flies into a lighter area the auto acer goes down so that is my settings always the vibration reduction off when I'm sitting in a blind because I'm using a tripod and uh, that is stable and if the bird flies I think we say it comes here I think the camera will do like this freeze the photo, freeze the photo, freeze the photo, freeze the photo with a vibration reduction and the camera had to refocus. If you have continuously moved on, then you can follow the motive the whole time and it keep the focus, don't need to refocus each time. And I have found that uh, sometimes it makes uh, a big difference. But if you, even if you have handheld flying birds, I have the vibration reduction off. Otherwise, I have it always on if it uh, take a nat nature photo, landscape photo, or something like that. If you stay to the, till the end of this movie, you uh, will get. Uh, I will tell you a little bit about how I do with my blind. I have a camera up, and I can from my telephone. I can see what's happening in the area. I connect with the telephone, I can move the camera and see what's happening. So in the end of this video I show you how I set it up and I have uh, built so I can charge it with a uh, 6 volt battery it's only about uh, 20 euro and then it uh, can stay out for one or two months there. I have a solar panel also charging the battery and uh, that is what I'm going to use when it comes to the black roads that I will have later. So in two weeks I will go out and put up this camera at the black roads where they are playing and then I in the morning can see if they have stopped playing and then it's time for me to go out. So if you stay to the end, you will see that. And if you like what you have seen, then you can subscribe or please leave a note in the comments. And I will also put the link to Reolink, the camera I have outside my hide. But now I will show you some pictures and movies that I have been taken with this camera and uh, the most of the photos is with the Z9 and uh, it's uh, with the 400 millimeters and uh, everyone is taken in uh, hide number two uh, and hide number two is my own hide or blind that uh, I have built and have for a couple of years so, see you in the next movie. If this is the first time you look at my channel, I can tell you that uh, I'm sitting in hide number two and it's my own and I have, uh, it's a small one, I have a heat here so I can have, uh, have it comfortable here in the hide. This is a little body and uh, it's with gas and then I have, then I have uh, windows outside you can see here how it looks. It is uh, glass, it's a uh, crystal clear 4 millimeters stop sun. So it uh, works like a mirror. So I can see out and the birds can't see in. 
but anyway I have uh, this on me so uh, my face isn't look so the bird can't see my face so good uh, it's very comfortable here I have uh, everything I have uh, power banks I can power my telephone I can power two fan that are blowing on the window so there will be no condense on the on the window and uh, it's isolated so the birds can't hear me just now I see they are sitting just outside and uh, I have also here I can put out my recorder here you can see the hatch where I have uh, built so I from the inside of the hide can put out my equipment here is uh, the Sennheiser it's connected to uh, the handy zoom and from that I connect my camera and I put everything out here and then I can um, close the hatch and as you see I have uh, here my earphones so I can hear what's happening outside so I, I be, be prepared when the bird comes now it's time for coffee I forget to tell you that uh, if you know uh, and you have studied the birds a lot you probably know where they are going to be land or fly so uh, you can pre-focus there and then just uh, it, it, it's going faster for the camera now it will be good with coffee The equipment today is the Nikon Z9 and I have an 800 millimeters and I also have a, a 70 to 200 millimeters. Outside I have put on GoPro 10, I think it was the 10, I have 11 also, but 10. And then I can remotely start it from here. It's funny to see how the red kites are hunting the ravens when the raven goes down and takes a little bit of the food and flies away and then the red kite come and it's so fast and uh, it forced the raven to to drop the food uh. That was just a ghost hawk, and um, I will show you here on the screen. It's uh, it, it's a young ghost hawk, and it took some food and fly away. But here you can see it, uh, and I'm I'm now excited because I heard terrible death scream from uh, I think it was the ghost hawk taking something and I uh, recorded it and I will play it now for you so you can hear it it uh, sounds very high in the uh, earphone okay listen to it here I have uh, put up a camera so I can, uh, from my telephone, I can now look out if the birds are here. So I can drive here and photograph them and film them. This is uh, just a test because I will uh, put it on, on the moss where we have black rows. And uh, I have built from here, it's going down into this and here I have a, a battery inside here uh, 6 volt and I have fixed this so um, I think it should be enough for, for a long time for a month or so okay
Now I will go home. And if you like what you have seen, please subscribe here. And uh, you can also give me a thumb up or comment below. So my channel will grow because I really would like that. So see you in the next movie. Bye.